we're recording. And uh, this is question eight from this paper. This is um, the. Don't kick Elliot while you. You have to go down there. <laughs> this is uh, the question then on logarithms for the bit of trapezium rule thrown in for exciting nuts. Um, right, uh, the graph shows y equals 2 to the x minus 3 <coughs> describe the geometrical transformation that transforms y equals 2 to the x to the curve 2 to the x minus 3. Well, I, I said this morning for those who are here for call 1 that some of the standard graphs that we should know about include things like a to the x. And we should know that 2 to the x is a graph that, that does that. And as soon as you remember that 2 to, the, 2 to the x looks like that, you can kind of already see what transformation has happened, can't you? You can see that this is 2 to the x, and it's moved down 3 units. Now, we need to be careful that we describe this in the correct way. So, the correct words to use for this just film over there. <laughs> You're getting a crowd shot. That's brilliant. <laughs> so the transformation of 2 to the x would be a translation. And it would be 3 units in the negative y direction. And that, that was all that there was for transformations of graphs on, on this particular paper. We, we're kind of going to leave it like that. Go back and look at what you did in Core 1 for this stuff. And, uh, it doesn't make it any worse in Core 2. Okay. Now, this is where we now start to get into having to do stuff with logarithms. Part 2, state the y coordinate at the point where the curve crosses the y-axis. So the point where it crosses the y-axis, this point down here, that's the point, well this is alright, that's the point when x is zero, isn't it, when it crosses the y-axis. So for part two, we are saying when x is zero, y equals two to the zero minus three. And, and even your calculator will sort that out for you, that's going to be the point minus two. Two to the zero is one. Take away 3 is minus 2, so that's it. That's why that was just one mark. Part 3, that says 4. Part 3 uh, says find the x coordinate at the point where the curve crosses the x axis, giving your answer in the form log base a of b. Well, where it crosses the x axis, that's when y is 0 now, isn't it? So we're, we're looking at the same equation. We want to know what happens when y is 0. y is 0, we've got 2 to the x minus 3 equals 0. We need to use logarithms to solve this. Hope this Adam. Good. So that would be 2 to the x equals 3. And, and we've just looked at an example like this, haven't we? We take logs of both sides. Now, hang on. This, this time, actually, it wants us to write it in the form log base a of b. So this isn't about taking log base 10 of both sides and, and ending up with a fraction. This is about just rewriting this. x equals, well, the base number is 2, so it's log base 2 of 3. Okay. Um, so that's it. So our a is 2 and our b is 3. Now, the curve passes through the point p62. We use logarithms to find the value of p, correct to three significant figures. So this is going to be this kind of idea again, but with a different value for y. So we're now in part 4, dealing with the point p62. That says that 2 to the p minus 3 equals 62. If we rearrange that, we've got 2 to the power of p is 65. And now we've got our choice, depending on which way you want to go, depending on how you want to use your calculator, you can use this kind of method, which actually says we already know what's going on here. We could just write this as being log base 2 of 65. 
put that straight into the calculator using that button where you can change the base and get our answer. Or we can do the more kind of traditional method, which would be take log base 10 of both sides. Oh, I missed out log base 10. Bring the P down to the front. That was our third rule of logarithms. And so P is log 65 over log 2. I haven't got a calculator with me. We've got And did it say three significant figures? Yeah. 6.02. Um, you can check, somebody who's got a calculator that does that, just double check it. That's the same as if we've done log base 2 of 65. That's the button on the top right hand side. You can do it that way. You can do it that way. You can do it either way. Okay. So that's that. But this is, this is the more traditional method. This is what they were expecting when they wrote the question. Well, that's what your calculator gives you the advantage of being able to do. All right, we will finish off that question. Um, use the trapezium rule with two strips, each of which you find. This seems to be a slightly bizarre trend in exam papers to do trapezium rule questions with a very, very small number of strips. It's, it seems like a really old thing to do. Trapezium rule with only two strips, just just as a kind of almost pointless thing to do. But anyway, well, that's what we've been asked to do. Um, I, when I learned the trapezium rule, two, three, five, six, I was taught the trapezium rule by Steve, two, three, actually, as a student here. And, uh, two, three, five, six, and he was um, quite keen at that time, I remember, no, putting things in the table. and I've. I've Kept that way of doing it. If you wanted to do the integral from 3 to 4 of 2 to the x minus 3 dx. Okay. Um, two strips, each of width 0.5, so our x values are going to be 3, 3.5, and 4. And our y values are what we get when we, we sub those values in to 2 to the x minus 3. We do it in two columns, although it's a little bit unnecessary with this few numbers. Um, sub the values in, 2 to the 3 minus 3, that's just going to be 5, isn't it? h minus 3 would be 5. 2 to the 3 and a half minus 3 is going to be some number. 2 to the 4 minus 3, is going to be 12, 16 minus 3. In the formula booklet, you have the trapezium rule given for you. It says that the area is approximately equal to half the step size, which is a half, multiplied by the first plus the last, plus twice all the other answers. This, at this stage, really is just an exercise of typing things into your calculator. It's um, 13, I think, dear. It's what? 13. Of course it is, because it's 16 take away 3. <laughs> Score by error, thank you, yeah. Right. Has anybody done that on a calculator yet? Good, great, great work. Is anybody going to do that on a calculator? No. Probably not. No, right. Can I borrow you for calculator? Thanks for the help. Live on the video. Have you just done another crouch? <laughs> Has anybody else done it? Yeah. <laughs> I get 
six five. Six six to three six figures. Yeah. yeah. There we go. And, uh, and that's that. Um, thanks for recording it again.